Hey everybody, Rick Bray coming at you from the Plick Underground, and uh, I got a whole bunch of devices in front of me that you're going to see in just a second uh, to show you. Recently, Zoom announced that they had breakout rooms where your participants can choose which breakout room they want to go into, and just recently with an update from Zoom, uh, Chromebooks can now do that. So, let's dive in. All right, let's get this party started. So, like I said, I have a bunch of devices in front of me here. And in fact, if we go, uh, uh, here we go, you can see that these are kind of the big hitters in our region that we have. Um, I do have a Chromebook available in front of me. I also have a full-size iPad that's on this call. I have an iPad mini just in case that behaves a little bit differently. And then an iPhone in case that is also just a little bit different. But here, let's uh, hide these so you can now see me. Oh, hide on video participants. Okay, so um, in an earlier video, right there, up is the card, um, I meant we talked about how to make breakout rooms. And when you create a breakout room, oh, let's do recreate, why don't we? Um, the option that comes up here is how, there, there. How many breakout rooms do you want to make? And I'm going to select the option here for let participants choose room. And I'm going to recreate them. Now, what I didn't talk about in that previous video is that you can rename the video. So you probably saw when we came in, I had lions, yes, rename. And you could do whatever is appropriate. Um, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, topic one, topic two, topic three, um, so on and so forth. Something that allows the students to know where they're going. Uh, and of course, we'll do dot, 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 oh my, because, you know, I like it. It's not dot, 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 but it works. So um, I haven't assigned anybody. I certainly can if I want, but I'm just going to say open all rooms. So let's see how that works on a Chromebook. What happens on their end? Well, uh, I'm going to bring this over in front of me here, if you'll excuse me. Um, but what you'll see on the Chromebook screen, excuse me for looking down, we'll try and do both, is in their control panel, they have this little breakout uh, room tab in the bottom. And when they click on that, it allows them to pick which breakout room they want to go to. Now, I know you can see me right physically here and right here is my list. So watch the Chromebook. I'm going to select to go to breakout room lions and poof. I'm in the Lions breakout room with my Chromebook doing my thing. Now, what is important to note with all of this is at any time I, can, as a student, can switch rooms. So it's not like a one and done, right? Like I just switched into, I think, the Bears breakout room. So that's how it works from a Chromebook. Um, and again, super awesome, super powerful tool, works really well. And what we'll try and do now, because this is where it's going to crash and burn, is I'll show you on the iOS devices. As far as I can tell, they are all the same. So let's try and put up the iPad and then the iPad mini and then the iPhone. Now, they're all pretty much the same, uh, as far again, as far as I can tell. And so when you tap on the screen, you'll see in the uh, top section is a little thing that says breakout room. That's also where I can switch to a gallery view. But if I say join breakout rooms in all of them, Boop, 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 there we go. Um, I get a selection of which breakout room do I want to join, just like I saw before on the Chromebook. And I can say I want to go to Tigers, I want to go to Oh My, and I want to go to Bears. And just like that, poof, 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 they all change on their own. So poof, let's get rid of those. Um, really, what I want to focus on is how the heck did I make this happen? So the first thing I'm going to do is clear, close the rooms, and we're going to bring everybody back. Boom, boom. All right, everybody's back. Um, so again, how did I make this happen? Well, I enabled breakout rooms in my settings, and then I went down here as the host to breakout rooms, and we'll do recreate. Um, I want to, however many breakout rooms I want, maybe I only want three. And like we talked about in that previous room, there's automatic, uh, which is random, right? Uh, I keep doing this, there. I love seeing my face. Uh, but I can do automatic, I can do manually, or in this case, let the participants choose their room. So there you go. You just say recreate 
and you're done. Bob's your uncle. So I certainly hope that helps with uh, self-selecting breakout rooms and how it looks on different devices, both for the teacher you saw on this screen and all the different student devices. Now, I should probably mention the only device that I didn't test is a, an Android tablet because... I don't have one. So sorry, you get to figure that one out on your own. Also, you probably noticed I'm using a Mac uh, for my teacher device. I tested this earlier with a Windows device and at least the controls, um, you know, the window icons look a little bit different, but that breakout room button and how that all behaves, exactly the same. So there you go. Hope this was helpful. If you liked it, feel free, give the video a thumbs up and as always, smash that subscribe button so that you can uh, subscribe to this channel and get notifications when new content like this video is posted. As always, thanks for watching.